Ain't this what they been waiting for? You ready? It's real trauma and I'm back with another one. Back with another one. First things first. Shout out to the Double R family. I appreciate all the love and support. As you guys can see, I have the same clothes on, so it's the same day, different video. But we're in Winter Harbor, Illinois. This is a beautiful three-bedroom, two-bathroom for $260,000. Some may ask why 260. First, let's take a look at your neighborhood. Well, you don't even have a neighborhood because this is your yard. Because this house has 2.35 acres for you, Double R family. But let's take a look at your yard. You have a little swing set right there. Place is nice and chill. Sit y'all here, drink some lemonade, and look at that beautiful garage. It's huge, ain't it? You can fit about four or five, six cars. You can get you a lift and put it in there with no problems at all. And your neighbor is so far down, you have a long driveway, as you guys can see. But I see you guys when we get inside. Whew. So, Double R family, I couldn't leave without showing you guys this garage. It's huge. Dun, 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 the mechanic special. Look at this thing. It's enormous. You can put a lift in here with no problem. And he has the heat in here, so it's a heated garage. So that's always, it may be he or she. She may be working on cars too. But definitely enough to get the job done, baby. They got the fridge in here. They got everything. And they actually have upstairs. They probably had a lift in here before or something. I know they had a crane in here. That's probably what that's from. The crane and everything. But it has an upstairs too. I don't know what's up there. So you guys will see when we get up there. <laughs> so double R family, we had to go up all these stairs. I got my flashlight because I don't know what's going on up here. But it's a little room, let's see. Hopefully we don't get killed. Oh, dang. Oh yeah. This the man slash woman cave right here. As you guys can see, it has floor and everything in here. I would definitely put some carpet in here or something like that. Nice little sitting there just in case, you know, you ain't had, you having some disagreements. This is where you come. And we have a nice little office area. Probably where you get your, you know, tune into Rome's house views and all that stuff in here. Chill, relax, They're lifting some weights and everything in here. This place is amazing. You have TV right here, the old school TV. And they already cut it out for you, so you can put a little plasma or anything, something right there. Boom. They got the pool. Come on, man. Let's see if I still got a double R family. Where am I hitting? They blocking everything, man. I could hit, you know, a few in and see if I still got that thing. If I still got like I used to have it. Oh, you know I got to try that again. You know I ain't going for that. It's a table. Let's just be clear. It's a table. Let me see. Let me, I got to really do this now. Split them things up. Show y'all how I really get down. I was just playing. I, was, I wasn't serious. Get this joint right here. So y'all can see how I really get down on this table. Mm-hmm. Y'all thought it was, y'all thought it was, I'm a pool shark. Y'all ain't know? One more, one more. Come on, man. Stop playing, baby. But you have the bar area. They have the music over here. They was making peace. And they was getting in. You know, had the fellas over, or the ladies or the fellas, they was in here drinking. Bud Light, drinking, whatever this is, vodka. They was getting it in in here. Playing guitars and everything, very, very nice. But I see you guys when we get back to the house. So Double R family, before we go in, I want to show you the front of the house. That was the back we just showed you. And look at the front. Now, definitely, I want to do some landscaping to open this thing up. But some people, you know, like, you know, trees and everything in a way so they can get good shade. But it actually looks like a log cabin, as you guys can see, with the wraparound porch. So let's go ahead and go over here. This is some more of your land right there, just in case you was wondering. So very nice font 12 over here. I would just probably stain this deck a little bit, and that's it. But now I see you guys when we get inside. Who is it? Oh, double R family. Who is it? Is that them? Let me check out the man. Oh, yeah. What's going on, double R family? Welcome to your new home. Again, three bedroom, two bathroom for 260,000 smackaroos. But guess what? It comes with 2.35 acres. 
But right when we walk in the door, you're going to step right into the beautiful living room area. Real hardwood floors. The paint is fairly new. And honestly, Double family, this, this living room is huge. You can do the L couches, you can do the lazy boards, you can put the whole nine in here with no problems at all. You can do the TV right there, you can do the TV right there, you can do the TV right here. I mean, whichever one you would like to do. Also has the door out to the walk around porch out there. But let's go ahead and roll right into room number one. Now, room number one is gonna need some new carpet, as you guys can see. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but it definitely is gonna need some new carpet. That's the only thing I would do to room number one. And then you can go ahead and put, it's not that big of a room. You can put a twin size bed. You could do a full, but it's gonna be a little tight. You can do twin size with the end tables. You can put the TV right here, or you can throw the TV over there, whichever one you prefer. The closet space is just about average. Now, what I would do with the closet is go ahead and get the kit from Ace Harbor Home Depot Menards and get that thing together and also put a door on there. Um, unless you're going to use this for office because I kind of feel like I will use it more so for office because it's like right by the front door. And if for the most part, a twin size bed is going to be for a younger child. You don't want, you know, just in case something happened. So you got to protect yourself at all times. Now we're going to roll right into room number two. What it do? This room is going to need some carpet as well. The paint is fairly new though, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, we got space galore in here. I'm going, you're going to go, you can go queen or king, whichever one you prefer. I will go queen here with the end tables. You can do the TV here, you can do the TV there on top of a dresser or something. Or if you want a little bit more space, you'd like to be far away from TV, you can put the entertainment system right here, TV right there. So you have a lot of different options. Closet space galore, walk-in closet. You can put the jeans and the shirts right there. You can put, you know, if it's your woman, some dresses, skirts, or coats, jackets, and all that stuff right there. So it's definitely, look at that thing, slide out. Well, I just, it just sit on there, it don't slide out. Shoes right here, plenty of space. You can put your perfume, cologne, everything right in there. So that's definitely a nice little touch. Now we're gonna roll right into bathroom number one, baby. The flooring doesn't look bad. Um, I would definitely go ahead and paint the vanity and me personally, and change the hardware, of course. And I would probably get rid of that mirror since it's an old, old mirror you get a regular one um the shower doesn't look bad it's a little outdated but it gets the job done if you would like it to the toilet definitely is on the older side so i'll get a new toilet and probably switch it up a little bit in here that's really it now we're going to roll right into the kitchen area the floor i like the flooring a lot i wouldn't do anything with the floor these cabinets definitely need to be painted they way outdated. The countertop is actually, I like the countertops. I would just do paint the cabinets, change the hardware. You gotta get a new cabinet right here, a new drawer for that one. Um, I would definitely, oh, the water is off. So you guys wanna remember about the water being off, you wanna make sure the inspector checks stuff like this. I'm definitely getting rid of this. This is, thing is very old. Unless they have like some, you know, paint that you could paint the sink, but I've, I've never heard of it. So um, stainless steel oven. That's good. You're just going to have to do a thorough cleaning right there. Then we're going to, oh, dishwasher right there, stainless steel as well. Do a thorough cleaning in there too. And then we have the fridge, double door. They was drinking some Pepsi. Oh, they was drinking that hot. They was in the high life, middle high life. Um, let's check the freezer. Yeah, this is definitely going to need a thorough cleaning. They got stuff still in here, ice and everything. So you're gonna make sure you clean that. Um, you also have very nice cabinet space over here where you can put canned goods and everything, as well as a pantry. So you definitely have enough space to do what you need to do in the kitchen. For those of you who love to cook, um, you can do a, a dining room table or something right here in this area if you would like to. Pretty up to you. Definitely enough space to get the job done. Then we're gonna roll right into the laundry area. Washer and dryer, it's not brand spanking new, but it definitely can get the job and just clean it off. Yeah, you know, it's, it's seen better days. But just do, do a thorough clean, I'm sure it'll still work for you. And then if you, you know you need to clean some clothes, just put some shout out or something on them. You can hang them right there, it's a nice little touch, perfect. Now we're gonna roll right into the master suite, baby. This room is enormous. 
It's definitely gonna need some new carpet. And honestly, that's about it. To be honest, Double R Family, you could fit, if you want, you could put two queens. This room is so wide, you could put a queen right here, a queen right there. You could put two queens, two bump beds, whatever you would like to put in here. Very large space. Um, this room is so bad, I would have to go with a king with the end tables. You can put your own dresser for his dresser with the uh, mirror and everything. For her, you can put the dresser with the mirror over here. You can put the TV right there, or you can put the TV over there, or you can go ahead and smack the TV right here. I mean, it's just so much space in here. Very, very nice. But guess what else you got? A walk-in closet. Look at that thing, baby. You can put all the shoes and perfume, cologne, everything right there. Shirts, dresses, jeans, shoes at the bottom. Whatever you need to fit in there. Definitely enough space to get that done. But wait until you see this bathroom. This is a one of a kind. I've never seen a bathroom like this. I love it a lot. The flooring is fairly new. Doesn't look bad at all. But look at this shower. Look at this thing. It's amazing. You actually can come down in here and sit. Oh, hold on. I've never seen it before, Double Our Family. It actually has the temperature right here when you turn the water on. 70, 80, 90. Exclusive. You can sit right here, chill. Shower here, right there, boom. Water dripping on you. If you want to stand up, get right. They got the whole setup right here for you. With no problems. You want to hang your robe or whatever right there, boom. The vanity looks amazing, looks fairly new. I like these cabinets, they're very, very nice. But yours can look just like this with just changing the hardware. It's a very nice bathroom. His and hers sink. His and hers mirror. You don't have to share a mirror. She don't have to be all on your side. You don't have to be all on her side. You got your own. She got her own. And then, of course, you have to use the bathroom. I like it that it's, you know, separate from everything else because nobody wants to smell you if you have to do a number two. And then you have a nice little linen closet where you're going to put the sheets, towels, and everything right in there. But, double our family, we got to do the steps. So I'll see you guys when we get in the basement. So after you come out the master suite, you have a nice little area right here. You can put a little table. Honestly, you can put a little office right here. You know, you can have your little desk and everything. Tune into Rome's house of views, computer, laptop, and all that stuff. And then you have plenty of space to go ahead and put, you know, coats and shoes and everything. They have some paint and everything down there. So that's always a plus to have. But you definitely can put the coats and everything right there. Oh, you got stuck on me a little bit. But now we're finna. Really go downstairs to the basement. So I'll see you guys when we oh matter of fact, we ain't even gonna do it this time. Let's go down there. Oh, right when you step on that floor, brand spanking new. That's brand new carpet right there. Feels amazing. You can feel the cushion in there. Um over here, double R family. Me personally, I would go ahead and throw a bathroom right in here. You know, I would go ahead and get somebody to come to a bathroom because it'd be perfect. It's definitely enough size. You don't even have to be a full bathroom, just a half bathroom or something. So when you're in a man sized woman cave, you don't have to go upstairs. So that's definitely a nice touch. But before we get into, you're going to do step number one. You're going to check the perimeters and check the foundation outside the home to make sure there's no big cracks. Step number two, you're going to come in the basement. You're going to do the smell test. You're going to check the perimeters inside the house. Make sure there is no brown, dark, black substances, which is probably mold. Then you're going to do step number three. Now, this is something different I've never seen before. I'm not sure if you guys can even see it, but the mechanics is right there. So you're going to check the mechanics. One more time, check the mechanics. Two more time, check the mechanics. They're deep in there, Double R Family. Honestly, I like this setup because if it ever floods down here in the basement, your mechanics won't get wet at all. So you guys want to make sure you check that and have the inspector check them as well. But this is where it go down at Double R Family. I like, look at that. Pay attention to the detail. They got the black up there. This is where I put the couch, you know, love seat. You put the couch with the love seat, lazy boys and all that stuff. TV right here. You have more space over here to do what you need to do. Um, you can put some stuff in here, like some pictures and everything to decorate a little bit better. Or you can put the TV right there in between the pictures. Very, very, very nice font sway. And then, last but not least, Honestly, Double R Family, we can't see in this room, so I'm going to turn on the light for you. So I'll see you guys when we turn on the light. <laughs> so, this is like the perfect storage area. I'm not sure why this light is not working, 
but you can store all the Christmas trees, all of everything you need to store down here with no problems at all. Oh, they got that. Let's see if I got it there with our family. You know, the jack all trades, you know. so you guys can see me well I just want to I just want to Oscar but for anyone who's looking to buy or sell a new property you can always email me at roamshousereviews at gmail.com also if you're tuning into the video please like share subscribe hit the notification bell tell a friend to tell a friend join Dolar family it's real to Rome and I'm gone <laughs>